Okay, I think we're ready to go. Testing, testing. So, let's talk about vanilla. Vanilla has been around since I think about 2006. And for a long time, its primary USB was offering forums which looked good. Vanilla had forms which were relatively easy to set up and pleasant for members to use. Over the years, Vanilla's focus has changed. It's broadened its feature set and gradually shifted from a focus that was more about gaming and niche target communities to big enterprise communities. And impressively, for Vanilla's small team, they've been able to use their great marketing to punch far above their weight and attract some huge enterprise customers. This also made Vanilla an obvious target during the acquisition era of the past few years. And it wasn't a surprise when Vanilla was acquired by Higher Logic in 2021. And this made sense. Higher Logic was a far larger company with a platform which was great for associations, but wasn't really cutting it at the enterprise level. And now Vanilla offers not just a platform, but the full processes of a mature company behind them. What's great about Vanilla? Let's dive into what customers love about Vanilla and also what I love about Vanilla. One, it's user-friendly. Vanilla is a very user-friendly platform to use. It has both a great front end and a great back end interface. This means that you don't need development or technical expertise to build out the site. You can choose widgets, page layouts, and branding relatively easily. You could also set up pockets to customize and add flexibility to every page. It strikes a good balance between being customizable without being too complex. Two is granularity. One of Vanilla's biggest and most unique strengths is its granularity. You can go really deep into permissioning members for specific things like access to areas of the community or viewing or participating in specific categories or access to beta testing opportunities. Setting specific roles for members is really important and one of the best features of this platform. Three, scalability. Vanilla is also a platform which scales tremendously well as a community grows. It's easy to expand to multiple sectors and multiple languages. Not many platforms can scale as easily as Vanilla can, especially to handle multiple use cases from the same organization. Four, strong analytics. Vanilla has recently upgraded its community analytics. You can now create your own dashboards, filter by categories, and dive really deep into analyzing data at a granular level. Vanilla also offers ways to extract data. Perhaps the only downside is it's not easy to export data manually and some customers also report it doesn't offer the depth of data they want, especially on helpful articles and groups and other parts of the community. But it's still a good feature. Five, strong moderation features. Vanilla offers strong moderation functionality with the ability to easily edit, delete, move, merge, or tag posts and threads and warn members for violating guidelines. Perhaps the only thing that's really lacking here is a moderation dashboard where it's easy to see who has responded to what. Six, easy to work with. Vanilla's customers frequently praise the support team, especially the CSMs and the rapid responses they get to their questions. Unlike other vendors, customers like interacting with Vanilla staff and find them generally very easy to deal with. What's not great about Vanilla? As with every platform, there are some things which aren't that great. One, bugs. If there was one common complaint we hear from Vanilla customers time and time again, it's about bugs. Customers keep mentioning they encounter bugs, even with new releases. Vanilla seems to continually roll out updates which contain bugs, and then they take far too long to resolve them. And put simply, this shouldn't be happening at the level that Vanilla is playing at. None of the bugs are critical, but they are frustrating. Given how consistent this issue is, there seems to be a problem with testing features before rolling them out. And this really, really, really needs to be fixed. Two, missing features. 
Vanilla is missing a couple of features which are standard in other community platforms. Community digests have supposedly been coming for years, but still remain on the roadmap today. It's also not possible to have blogs and articles. Many customers are using the forum as a workaround, but it's really not a great experience. Three, depth of features. While Vanilla offers many of the same features as say Chorus, it's not always able to match the quality of them. The ideation functionality especially, it's little more than a forum category today. Likewise, groups and gamification don't match the quality of other platforms. They're not terrible, but they're definitely behind their competitors. Four, overselling. Some customers have noted that the vanilla sales staff often promise easy solutions to specific issues, only to later discover the solution is far more complicated to implement than expected. This is especially true in compliance to specific data requirements and things like implementing single sign-on. Five, design issues. While vanilla is easy to sell up, I also feel vanilla communities suffer from design issues which aren't ideal. Choices on font, spacing, and layout sometimes create this dated cramped feel in their communities. This is definitely fixable, but it requires some design expertise and maybe a change in what the defaults are. Should you build your community on vanilla? Yes, overall, I like vanilla. I think the platform is strong. I think the roadmap is relatively clear and the issues identified here are issues I hope to be resolved relatively soon. But there is a trade-off. There's a trade-off between customization and ease of use. And Vanilla has a relatively good balance between the two. But if you have a strong preference for one or the other, then Vanilla might not be the best platform for you. I was also initially concerned about Hylogic's acquisition of Vanilla. In the past, the two organizations have very different cultures. But thus far, Vanilla has been allowed and supported to flourish. And this doesn't mean there aren't challenges but there don't seem to be insurmountable challenges. Overall, Vanilla does most of the things it should do well, incredibly well. And if you don't want to go with Chorus or Salesforce, then Vanilla is a good midway point between the flexibility of Verint and the ease of use of Insider. How would you rate Vanilla? Every review is obviously subjective, so I'm keen to get your thoughts. What has been your experience with the Vanilla platform? Leave your thoughts on this in the comments below and I'll make sure that I read and respond to everyone. Thank you so much for watching.